share some of the ingredients that we're using in the 28 Day Joy of Kosher Challenge that you might not have in your pantry or might wonder what they are. So these are sort of Asian influenced. One is mirin and one is rice vinegar. So we call for them in some of the recipes. I love them. Um, I specifically love rice vinegar. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I think rice vinegar is, you know, is just a little bit more mild than some of the other vinegars, yeah. which is why a lot of us like it. And so it's commonly used to make sushi rice, but really right. you can use it in, as a substitute for most vinegars. Um, in salad dressings or in um, anything else that you need vinegar for. Yeah. So it's a great thing to keep in your pantry. It's you more mild, but it also has a touch more flavor than, say, like your white vinegar. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, I think it's got like yeah. a little bit, a little something. But something. it's still subtle so that you don't yes, overpower Yes, not a and thousand percent. Yeah. Totally. And then mirin, people want to know what is mirin. Yeah, so mirin is like a rice wine. It does have some, I think, sugar added to it. It does. So, yes. That's so what that's I, I kind of like it. <laughs> you don't like to use too much of, but right. it does add a lot of flavor because yes. I, I believe it's fermented anything about it um, and so it just brings a lot of flavor to everything that, that yeah. you're that we're making and it, especially it does give a little bit of this like I feel like especially this Asian taste like yes. it kind of like add that little boost of something but if for some reason you can't find it yeah you can add a little bit of sugar or something like that mm -hmm. with more rice vinegar right but when you do rice oh, vinegar yeah. and soy sauce and a little bit of mirror and it just gives you that yeah. sort of those classic Asian yeah. flavors that you're looking for with not a lot of sugar just a hint of something sweet 